Hey guys, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, we're here today to do our design team prompt and this month it is washi. Make it and use it. So, first thing I want to do is make it. Um, I've got Gina's stencils here and I found this for a dollar at some reuse store and it's just sticker project paper and there's no it's not like squares it's just a full sheet of sticker paper so what I'm gonna do let me show you let's see if I can find an edge maybe maybe all right you got to believe me because I can't get find an edge which we're gonna have to find but um, it's just sheets there we go. Of just plain sticker paper. See it? So I'm going to make some washi. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out some paints. I am going to go to town on this with some paints and some stencils. I'll fast forward through that process and then we'll be back. Enjoy. Right, guys so what I did is I did a couple of these sheets in paint and what I can do is because they're full shicker shicker stitch yeah they're shicker stitch <laughs> sticker sheets 
I can cut them any width that I would like, and I'm going to be doing that, but before I do that, I wanted to do some more. I want to do a couple more sheets, and I'm going to do them utilizing the stamps. Now, the three sets that I got out are set 6, 7, and 11, um, and they have a lot of the doodles in them. Um, so I plan on using these, maybe some of the words, and I'm just going to randomly stamp. I'm going to do it uh, pretty much all in black ink. I don't think I'm going to do another another color. I just want these black and white. So I'm going to fast forward through that, and I'll be back. <laughs> guys so what I did is I took my other two sheets that I had which I made and these are sticker sheets now these are gonna be really cool because I can cut these up and use them as backgrounds like on ATCs or cards they're gonna be really cool to use so I'm gonna set these two aside these I cut up and I did them in all different sizes 
um, anything from an inch to a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch to half an inch um, because I want to be able to use them in all different sizes. So what I did is I got out some, these are just some tags that I had in my drawer. These actually have Gina's designs on them, these two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with some of this washi and I'm going to play with um, making a couple of these tags. So what, oh, that came off, that's all right. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to glue this down right here. Not glue it down, I'm just going to put it down. I'm putting it down. Um, hopefully it'll stick. We'll find out in a second. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this washi tape and make a couple um, a couple tags with it and just have fun. So I am going to fast forward through the process. I hope you guys enjoy and we'll chat at the end.
All right, guys, so here's what we did. We went ahead, we took some sticker sheets, and we used a bunch of stencils and some paint and some stamps and some black archival ink. We cut it up and made ourselves some washi, which, um, again, this is on sticker sheet, so this, this will stick to anything. Um, and I did a bunch of different sizes. So now I have some really cool washi tapes. And what I'm going to do next, or what I did next, is I took those washies and I used them by making these four tags. Um, the words are Gina's. These two have one of her feather stamps on them that I had made previously. And then I've got this little guy here on a stamp, or on a tag. So, there you go. Um, this month, like I said, washi and use it, make some washi. Um, think outside of your normal realm of just masking tape washi. See if you can find some sticker sheets or double-sided tape or maybe some fabric that you can stamp on and put a double-sided tape on, make into a washi, anything like that. But um, most of all, just enjoy what you're doing. Um, have fun, that's what life's all about. Don't forget to check out the other design team members in the description box below. Their links are there. And if you have any questions or comments, put them below and I will answer them for you. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.